Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to cut FRP. There's some people on Facebook, on uh, Facebook, on YouTube that are showing you how to do it with like a heat gun and stupid things like that. That's stupid. Anyway, you use a regular hole, a hole saw if you want to make a circle, or if you want to use a skill saw, just use that. You can use different tools, but these are the two fastest ways of doing this thing. I'll show you them real quick. So if you take it like this, and it's just a regular hole saw, and you just turn it as fast as that. I mean, that's how fast it goes. So there's no special deal or anything else. Same thing with the skill saw. It's just a regular uh, seven or you know, 24 tooth carbide blade, but anything 24 tooth or more would be fun. And uh, you simply put it where you want it to go. No mess, no fuss, it's all perfect. No, no burn out or anything like that. It'll work perfectly fine for you. So go ahead and just do that like that. Let me know if you have any questions, put them down below. You can use uh, power shears if you want to. You know, that'll cut it too, just not as clean. But you know, if that's what you got, go for it. But everybody really has a circular saw. And uh, you know, just a seven, you know, this is a seven and a quarter, but it's 24 tooth carbide tipped this makes a perfect cut i mean there's just no messing around it's absolutely dead nuts and of course like i said this is a regular standard hole saw um to make all your circles there's a million different sizes just grab one up so anyway that, that's really your situation there no heat gun or any other weird crap uh, that's the best way to cut frp okay and as i said you can get uh perfect cuts i uh, just kind of just so i can get it for you uh yeah, anyway it's dynamite uh, it's probably perfect no burrs no nothing and it cuts perfect okay anyway that's the deal if you have any questions put them down below all right have a good day